next test, we're going to do a one-legged split squat. This is a very important test also for checking the stability of the knee and the glutes. The problem is, quite often, is that we will actually not have glute or hip strength, so our knee will start to deviate, and this will cause problems with the ankle and the foot. So we want to make sure the glutes are firing correctly. This is a great test for this. Okay, one leg, I don't want you holding against the wall. What you're going to do is you're going to take one leg behind the other leg, keeping your back straight and not leaning forward, and then you're going to drop down, and you're going to have a mirror in front of you, and you're going to look in the mirror, and you're going to see on this leg, whether the leg tracks straight up and down. It won't be perfect, but it should be fairly symmetrical in terms of going up and down. Okay, let's just have you go down, back up. Excellent. Again, so you want to do this two or three times. Just look at the symmetry there. One more time. It's not always an easy thing to do. Back up again. Excellent. Okay, now that we showed you what normal is, we want to show you a few abnormal motions here. Uh, Leanne is very talented in the fact that she can actually create these motions as she goes up and down in a one-legged split squat. So what we're going to have her do is the leg will go down, and then we're going to see how it deviates in. See how it goes in like that? Back up. So this is not going up and down and staying and tracking in a straight line, but deviating in. Now the leg in some cases may actually go in and out, in and out, but look for these deviations as we go up and down. That would give, show you as being, it would give, basically give you an abnormal response to this test. We want to make sure that we're tracking straight up and down. Excellent. 